Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I can't see a one of you up here with all these lights on, but uh, I assume you're out there. Uh, my name is John Treichler. Uh, I'm the uh, IEEE Signal Processing Society's Vice President for Awards. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here with you. Uh, our general chairs, Rabob and Lee, have done an absolute job. Their team has worked their finger to the bone. And I hope you find each and every one of them in the hallways over the next several days and thank them uh, enormously for all the work and energy they put into this. Uh, it's my pleasure today to host the uh, Signal Processing Society's awards ceremony. Uh, with me today, I have uh, two helpers. One is uh, the president's, uh, uh, the society's president, who you've already met, Ray, and uh, Miss Vanna White over here. This is Teresa, and she will make sure that. Uh, that everything runs on time. She's the true, uh, she's the true power and organizer of the organization, so uh, don't let that smile fool you. Okay, uh, we have a lot of people involved in today's ceremony, and I think all of you in, in the front rows know we need you to move fairly quickly. And when we do pictures, the pictures will be over there. I'm the reader, and Ray is the presenter, and, uh, and, and, uh, and we'll shake your hand uh, in, in appreciation for your energies. Uh, the first awards we present today are the Society's Best Paper Awards. This year there are six. Uh, these papers honor except, are papers of exceptional merit dealing with topics related to the Society's technical scope and appearing in one of the Society's transactions. Uh, the prize for all paper awards is $500 per person. Uh, we get cheap after that, and if there's more than three, we divide up $1,500. And a certificate. Uh, as I call your names, please come forward to receive your awards. And also for the awardees, if I can ask you to stay after the ceremony for a little bit so we can take some other pictures, I would appreciate it. Uh, the first award goes to Sung Jin Kim, Quang Mu Ku, Michael Lustig, Stephen Boyd, and Dmitry Gorinevsky for their paper, An Interior Point Method for Large-Scale Regularized Least Squares published in the IEEE Journal of Selected Topics and Signal Processing, Volume 1, Number 4, December 2007. <laughs> Our next paper goes to Tomas Vertanen for his paper, Monaural Sound Source Separation by Non-Negative Matrix Factorization with Temporal Continuity and Sparse Criteria, published in the IEEE Transactions on Audio, Speech, and Language Processing, Volume 15, Number 3, March 2007. <laughs> Our next award recognizes David Whiff, uh, uh, Bhaskar Rao, for their paper, uh, An Empirical Bayesian Strategy for Solving the Simultaneous Sparse Approximation Problem, IEEE Transactions on Signal Processing, Volume 55, Number 7, July 2007. <clears throat> Our next award recognizes Robert Wilson, David Say, and Robert Schultz for their paper, Channel Identification, Secret Sharing Using Reciprocity in Ultra-Wideband Channels, published in the IEEE Transactions on Information Forensics and Security, Volume 2, Number 3, September 2007. <laughs> Pictures, gentlemen. The photography is the hard part here. <laughs> we'll catch a picture of them later altogether. <laughs> Our next award recognizes Yagis Sutku, uh, Kaming Li, and Nasir Memman for their paper, Protecting Biometric Templates with Sketch, Theory and Practice, published in the IEEE Transactions on Information Forensics and Security, Volume 2, Number 3, September 2007. <clears throat> and 
And our last best award paper recognizes Zikwan, Shugang Ku, and Ali Saeed for their paper, Optimal Linear Cooperation for Spectrum Sensing and Cognitive Radio Networks. A Triple E Journal of Selected Topics and Signal Processing, Volume 2, Number 1, February 2008. Excellent work, all of you. For many years, the Signal Processing Society has celebrated young engineers, and we continue that policy this year with our next awards. The Young Author Next Best Paper Award honors the authors of an especially meritorious paper where one of the authors is less than 30 years of age at the time of submission of the paper. This year there are four such awards. The first awardee is Deanna Nidal for the paper co-authored with Roman Vershinen entitled Signal Recovery from Incomplete and Inaccurate Measurements via regularized orthogonal matching pursuit. IEEE Journal of Selected Topics and Signal Processing, Volume 4, Number 2, April 2010, now. <laughs> Our next award goes to David Ramirez for the paper co-authored with Javier Villa, Ignacio Santamaria, and Louis Scharf entitled Detection of Spatially Correlated Gaussian Time Series, published IEEE Transactions Signal Processing, Volume 58, Number 10, October 2010. <laughs> Our next awardee, Najim Dehak, who is not present, unfortunately, for the paper co-authored with Patrick J. Kenny. Uh, Rita Dehac and Pierre Dumouchel and uh, Pierre Ouellet, front end factor analysis for speaker verification, IEEE signal processing, audio speech and language processing, volume 19, number four, May 2011. And Najim cannot join us. His award was, has been accepted <laughs> by Pierre Dumouchel. Thank you, Pierre. Our last Young Author Award E is Kok Duong for the paper co-authored with Emmanuel Vincent and Remy Gribonval entitled Underdetermined Reverberant Audio Source Separation Using Full Rank Spatial Covariance Model, IEEE Transactions, Audio Speech and Language Processing, Volume 18, Number 7, September 2010. And if I may, uh, let's have one more round of applause for our young authors. They are the future of our society. <laughs> the next award is the IEEE Signal Processing Magazine Best Paper Award, honoring the authors of a paper of exceptional merit and broad interest on a subject related to the society's technical scope, appearing in the Signal Processing Magazine. This year, we are proud to present the IEEE Signal Processing Magazine Best Paper Award uh, to David Jesper, Marios Kuntoris, Robert Heath, and Chan Young Che, oops, and Thomas Salser for the paper entitled Shifting the MIMO Paradigm, IEEE Signal Processing Magazine, Volume 24, Number 5, September 2007. There's one more paper award. It's the IEEE Signal Processing Magazine Best Column Award, which honors the authors of a column of exceptional merit and broad interest on a subject related to the society's technical scope and appearing in the society's magazine. We are proud to present the IEEE Signal Processing Magazine's Best Column Award to Eric Larson for the paper MIMO Detection Methods, How They Work published in the Signal Processing Magazine, Volume 26, Number 3, May 2009. Turn and smile, Eric, while we clap for you. Okay, I would like to uh, 
congratulate all of our paper award winners today. I'd like to call everybody's attention to the fact that there will be an additional award in 2014, this one for papers appearing in the signal processing letters. So uh, do more, write more, submit more. There's another award out there. Uh, now we're going to move to uh, present the Society's major awards. The first, the Meritorious Service Award, recognizes dedication, effort, and contributions to the Society. The award consists of a plaque and a certificate. This year's recipient is Athena Petropoulou. Athena, are you here? Please come forward. It's our pleasure to present you with the Meritorious Service Award for Exemplary Service in Technical Leadership Capacities. <laughs> the catalyst for the existence of the Signal Processing Society is the technology we work on together. The IEEE Signal Processing Society's Technical Achievement Awards is therefore of greatest significance to us as a society. The award comprises a prize of $1,500 per awardee, a plaque, and a certificate. This year we recognize two of our members for their technical excellence. Uh, the first is Shi Fu Chang for pioneering contributions to signal processing for multimedia content analysis and retrieval. The second is for a, to a face you've already seen, Ali Saeed, please come forward. His award is for fundamental contributions to adaptive and statistical signal processing. Where's the check? <laughs> the question was, where's the check? <laughs> and congratulations, Ali. We adaptive signal processing people need to stick together, so uh, happy to see that. Had no hand in it, of course. Okay, the Signal Processing Society's Education Award honors those who have made pioneering and significant contributions to signal processing education. These contributions might come from writing scholarly books and texts, from writing course materials, from papers on education, from inspirational and motivational teaching and for, or for, creativity in the development of new curriculum methodology. The award comprises a plaque, a monetary award of $1,500, and a certificate. This year, the Society recognizes Richard Lyons for this award. Uh, it is formally for sustained success in clarifying the intricacies of signal processing and for significant contributions improving the understanding and promoting of practical DSP. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you that he can't be here today owing to family obligations, but we'll make sure he gets the uh, award in his hands in the proper fashion. So if I may ask for applause in his absence, I would appreciate it. Uh, our next award is the Society's Most Prestigious. The Signal Processing Society Award honors both outstanding technical contributions in a field within the scope of the Society and outstanding leadership in that field. The award comprises a plaque, a certificate, and a monetary award of $2,500. It's my very great honor to present this year's Society Award to Jose Mura for outstanding technical contributions and leadership in signal processing. Well, you were expecting me to leave, but I won't. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you, John and Ray. I'm humbled by receiving the IEEC Signal Processing Society Society Award and joining the roster of distinguished past recipients, a list of who is who in signal processing. I appreciate very much this recognition by my peers and my professional society. I thank all that contributed to me receiving this honor 
in particular, my unnamed nominators, including one who is here, <laughs> since she already addressed you and is the general co-chair of the SICASP. Thank you to you, to, thank you, you to all of you. Let me say a few more words. As you all well know, it's difficult to explain to family and friends alike, or the general public for that matter, what it is that we do to describe in a few intuitive, explicit, compelling words what is signal processing. A few years ago, we, the society, even lampooned Intel's motto and distributed at an ICASP or ICIP, I can't remember exactly who, caps with the quote, signal processing insight. But really, this begs the question, is signal processing insight? So let me tell you a short story. You'll have to bear with me. You have to use your imagination. The action is in the courtroom. So this is like a, a CIA, CSI, something like that. The action is in the courtroom, in particular the United States District Court for the Western District of Pennsylvania. That's a, that's a nice name. This is a federal court in the U.S. in which plaintiffs seek remediation. So if you have any complaint, you go there. On December 26, 2012, Five months ago, almost to the day, a U.S. federal jury rendered a verdict on the lawsuit filed by Carnegie Mellon University against the well-known fabulous re-channel chip maker, headquartered in the Bermuda, but with their operations in Santa Clara, California. This verdict culminated a four-and-a-half-week trial of strenuous argument between 40-plus lawyers and their experts explaining to the nine jurors, supposedly nine jurors of your peers, the ins and outs of an algorithm patent by my former student, Alec Kavchik, and myself. So that's why I'm telling you the story. This is a detector that reliably reads bits packed in high density recording disks, highly corrupted by noise. For 31 days, these best minds of the law profession filed motions, debated, reasoned, contended, objected. About what? Finite impulse response filters. Signal to noise ratios. Go by the name of SNR. Branch and path metrics. Signal dependent noise. Trellis covariances. By the end, I didn't know what they meant. What Alec Kavchik and I can reassure you today is that the verdict rendered on that snowy December 26, 2012 day in the courtroom of Judge Nora Barry Fisher, that's her name, confirms that signal processing is in fact inside. <laughs> At least inside 2,338,280,542 chips. Now, I think that they made a mistake. It should be 43. Powering as many disk drives in as many computers and laptops. Consider that these chips, bearing the detector invented by Alec Kavchik and by back in the 90s, are in 60% of all computers and laptops sold in the whole wide world in the last 10 years or so and counting. Note that Judge Fisher is still to rule on pending motions, so this may all be go up in, in flames, including one for mistrial, which means throw out, and then, of course, the pills will most likely follow. But I wanted to share this little story with you, to consent that signal processing is really insight, and we need more stories that make crystal clear the significance of what we do. I am approaching the end, Ray. Right? Don't, don't, don't bother throwing me out. I feel maybe a bit pretentiously, as Sir Isaac Newton once said. If I've seen a little further, it's only by standing on the shoulders of giants. As I received this award, I acknowledge my students and collaborators past and present. 
I'll mention a few, so just bear with me a little further, that I hope are in this room. Ella Kavchik at the University of Hawaii, Amir Azif at the Depart department chair at York University, Usman Khan now at Tufts University, Marcel Bruno at ITA in Brazil, Dusan Jakovetic, who is looking for a job, he just graduated, Divian Shuvats at Rice and IMA, Marcus Puschel, who is now at ETH, Zurich, Show Me a Car, Franz Franchetti and Alexei Sandriela, all at CMU, as well as my current students, Joya Derry, Subrodas, Joel Harley, and Jun Zhang. I apologize if I missed anyone that is in the room. This award is in large part your doing. Thank you. Finally, I acknowledge three countries, Mozambique in East Africa, south of the equator, if you don't know where it is, where I was born and raised. Portugal, my old country, where I went to college and became a professor at Institut Superior Technico. And the United States, where I furthered my education, matured as a professional, my country of choice that gave me many of the opportunities that brought me here. Thank you. He talks about signal processing and signal processing inside in billions of devices. I also want to point out that Jose has been a tireless contributor to the society from the moment I met him, and uh, I have every intent that he continue to do that. More on that later. So where do we go from now? We have a series of awards that are traditionally made to society members and organizations that I cast for a variety of accomplishments. We're going to start with the Signal Processing Chapter of the Year Award. Uh, IEEE Signal Processing Society Chapter of the Year Award is presented annually at ICAST to the chapter that's provided their membership with the highest quality of programs, activities, and services. It's presented here to a representative of the chapter. The award consists of a certificate and a check in the amount of $1,000 intended to support local chapter activities. The winning chapter has also been invited to publish an article in the IEEE Inside Signal Processing newspaper. The chapter to uh, receive the award this year is the Tainan chapter. The representative here to accept the award is Zheng Shang Pan. I hope. He's so shocked and amazed at this award. He's uh, getting up here late. As our president just said a few minutes ago, we're working very hard to increase the number of, of chapters and their impact to society my members. Uh, people have ideas on how that's best done. We're, we're eager to hear everything in addition to the ones we have, of course. Uh, we have uh, a category of awards known as technical field awards. Those are technically the IEEE's awards, not ours. They're typically created through the efforts of an IEEE technical society or council, and they recognize an area that is within the scope of that society. The Signal Processing Society has worked with uh, the IEEE uh, some years ago to found the IEEE James L. Flanagan Speech and Signal Processing, pardon me, Speech and Audio Processing Technical Field Award. The society uh, solely sponsors that award. Uh, I'm pleased to announce this year that Roberto DeMarca, the IEEE president-elect, will actually be here on Friday to present that award uh, in this very room at 155. If you have time to come do it, please come and watch. Uh, a colleague of all of ours, Victor Xu from MIT, is the recipient of that award for pioneering contributions to acoustic phonetics and conversational spoken language. Uh, so come and uh, applaud him on the day when he gets the formal award from the IEEE. I'd also like to note that, uh, as Ray did, that the Signal Processing Society is the lead society. That's a nice way of saying founder. Uh, for a new technical field award called the Fourier Technical Field Award with a focus on signal processing, both analog and digital. 
uh, that will be first awarded in 2015. We just got approval last November that many years, not just two or three, many years of work into the past to convince IEEE that such a thing as a good idea has happened and we're, and we're on our way now. So I'd like to thank all of the society leadership, past and present, who made that happen. So it's, it's a good thing for us. It's all part of trying to convince the world and gain an understanding that signal processing is inside of everything. Uh, the, next, uh, the next award is the Ganesh Ramaswamy Memorial Student Grant. Uh, this memorial student grant is sponsored by IBM and honors the memory of a former IBM employee and member of the society who died in 2008. Ramaswamy was manager of the Conversational Biometrics Group in the Human Language Technologies Department at IBM's Thomas Watson uh, Center in Yorktown Heights. Uh, candidates must pursue a degree at a university, and the fund supports recognition of an outstanding paper by a student in the technical area of speech and language recognition. Uh, it's a, the memorial fund is administered by the IEEE Foundation. Uh, this year's recipient is Shay Wong from Johns Hopkins, who unfortunately is not with us today. But you can find full information about the title and co-author of this paper on the 2013 ICAST webpage. So if you give me a little bit of applause for in absentia. Uh, we recognize two students here today who are recipients of the Spoken Language Processing Student Travel Grant. This grant is funded through the generosity of three folks, all society members, Xu Dong Wong, Alex Acero, and Sao Win Han. Proceeds from their book funds this grant. The basis of the grant award is excellence of the paper submitted ICASP is provided to assist student recipients in attending ICASP to present that paper in person. This year's recipients are Ann Lee from MIT and Gopala Krishna Anumanchipali from Carnegie Mellon. You can find information about their titles and papers and co-authors also on the ICAST webpage. I can do it. Today, we also recognize those individuals who are members of the IEEE Signal Processing Society who have been elevated to a fellow status as of the 1st of January 2013. In 2013, 46 Signal Processing Society members were elevated. Their pictures you may have seen when you first came in. They were rotating above on the screens uh, uh, to my left and right. Today, I'm going to announce the names of the ones who are actually present and I'm going to ask them to actually come up on stage so people can see your bright, smiling faces. Okay? Uh, as I call your name, please step forward to be recognized. What I'd like you to do is applaud at the end, if you will. I know there's some cool folks in here, but let's do it all at once at the end. Okay, number one, Enrico Bocciari, for contributions to computational models for speech processing. No, no, you're violating the rule. Andrew <laughs> Chikoki, okay, for contributions to applications of blind signal processing and artificial neural networks. Good, good, thank you. Yonina Eldar, for contributions to compressed sampling, generalized sampling, and convex optimization. Christina gil for contributions to image and video compression. Lena Karam, for contributions to perception-based visual processing, image and video communications, and digital filtering. Andre Kapp, for contributions to video coding and object-based video signal processing. Kenneth Cruz Delgato, for contributions to sparse signal recovery algorithms and dictionary learning. Yes. You're here. You're here. This is good. <laughs> Kai Kwong Ma, for contributions to image processing and digital video coding. 
Danilo Mondic for contributions to multivariate nonlinear learning systems. Helen Ming for contributions to spoken language and multimodal systems. Daniel Palomar for contributions to convex optimization based on signal processing for communications. Beatrice Popescu for contributions to image and video compression and networking. Peter Pupalakis for contributions to high-speed waveform digitizing instruments. <laughs> logistics, logistics. We need a larger stage. We have so many fellows. Richard Rose for contributions to acoustic modeling of automatic speech and speaker recognition. I'm going to let the president of our society work out the uh, spacing and location of the... Uh, Urchin Serpidin for contributions to synchronization of communication systems. Gaurav Sharma for contributions to electronic imaging and media security. Masayuki Tanimoto for contribution to the development of free viewpoint television and its MPEG standard. Welcome. <laughs> Michael Satsanis for contributions to wireless and digital subscriber line communications. <clears throat> Philip Woodland for contributions to large vocabulary speech recognition. Baya Yegnana Rayana for contributions to digital signal processing research and education. King Shao for contributions to learning and decision theory in dynamic systems with applications to cognitive networking. And Jeffrey Zweig for contributions to advanced speech recognition. Nice work. And congratulations to all of you on your extraordinary achievements. As they are walking off the stage, okay, I would like to point out that a fellow, as you know, is the highest grade you can get without being 65 years old, okay, and so I would like to encourage all of you to consider your peers, and when someone asks that you actually write a nomination, write a recommendation, please do so. These people are only here because their peers recognize them. Uh, and uh, we're willing to spend the time and energy to put together, apparently, a compelling argument for their elevation. Nice work. The last presentation is the IEEE Jack Kilby Signal Processing Medal. Technically, this is a presentation we don't make either, really. The Jack Kilby Signal Processing Medal is presented by the IEEE within the IEEE Medals and Awards Ceremony that will be held this year in June in San Diego. However, it has been the practice for the Medals Founding Society, that would be us, the Signal Processing Society, to present a special commemorative plaque from the Society to the Kilby Medal re uh, recipient. This year, the recipient of the 2013 IEEE Jack S. Kilby Signal Processing Medal is Bishnu Atal for fundamental and pioneering contributions to speech coding. Uh, Dr. Atal could not be with us today, but please let's also congratulate him with a round of applause. Uh, many of you know him. He's been a member of the society, working hard with us and for us since uh, before even I joined up, and I've been around a while. So, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremonies. I want to thank you all for attending and celebrating the Signal Processing Society's 
awards and the recipients and our new IEEE fellows. The society holds its award ceremony annually in conjunction with ICASP. Uh, I complete my three-year term as VP of awards this year and am pleased to announce that our new society award chair, Jose Mura, has been elected as my successor. Uh, I'm sure that you'll agree with me that this choice reflects the importance that the society places on our awards and the care in their selection. Please welcome Jose on this podium next year. Thanks again and enjoy the conference.